All right, everybody, I am driving into Frankfurt, Kentucky. Uh, heading towards downtown. Looks like you can see it right there. Uh, this is the capital of Kentucky. So later, the wife and I will be going to the capitol building and touring it. Uh, wow. Continue straight on. Well, thank you, Australian Siri. Yeah, I'm heading to downtown now and, uh... Use the right lane to continue straight on. Yeah, I like what I'm... At the next stop sign, turn left. I'm liking what I am seeing. It's pretty down here. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably get out on foot and take a closer look after this little drive through but... At the stop sign, turn left onto St. Clair Street. All right, I think I'm going to shut her up. But, uh, wow, this is pretty, isn't it? Really nice. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like a kind of a uh, entertainment drive, or a, yeah, I'll have to go down there for sure. So far, so good. Huh. I'm really liking. Uh, Frankfurt. A lot of cars here. This is not a dead downtown, doesn't look like. Looks like we got some really old historic buildings here. That looks like one right there. It is. All right. Okay. That's the drive through uh, downtown. So I'm going to park and take a look on foot. Yeah, you can tell those homes are really old. I mean, I bet they're over 100 years old. It's really calm and peaceful here in Frankfurt, which I really like. After the hustle and bustle of Lexington, holy cow, that town was just non-stop non-stop traffic uh, Frankfurt's much smaller I'll get into that in a second I'm gonna head into downtown just wanted to show you guys these really amazing homes that are here on the edge of downtown how about that some of them are businesses We've got a marker over here on this one, so I guess I'll go take a look at it. It's at Gerard uh, Crittenden House, early 19th century house, architecturally notable because of the brick and log construction. Has a series of timbers filled in with brick and mortar and covered with clapboard. Technique uncommon to central Kentucky. Owned by several prominent Kentuckians, including the uh, Crittenden and Gerard families. Wow. So I guess that's this house right here. It's a beauty, isn't it? It's got a nice uh, white fence around it. Wow. I'm impressed. So far. It says we got another National Historic Landmark right here. Take a quick look at that. And then we'll head in that direction. You can most likely see that that is downtown straight that way. Let's see what this is though. Liberty Hall Historic Site. And they give you guided tours. But let's see what the sign says. All right, here we go. Liberty Hall National Historic Landmark. This Georgian mansion was begun in 1796 by John Brown and named for Lexington, Virginia Academy he attended. His wife Margareta and Elizabeth Love began what, first Sunday school west of Alleghenies in the garden. 
Guests have included James Monroe, Zachary Taylor, Andrew Jackson, and General Lafayette. That's pretty impressive. That's a list of names. And there it is right there. How about that? Give you a nice little look. And uh, I'm going to head that way now into downtown. Another amazing looking uh, home here. A historical home. It's got a placard here. John Goodman House, circa 1790s, 1799. John Goodman manufactured furniture in Lexington. He moved his factory here to Frankfurt. And in this house, he produced the first Kentucky made piano. Hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, wow. Yeah, it's a beauty. All right, I'm gonna continue my way in. Now this is the McClure building, uh, built in 1906. It was the city's first skyscraper. It says uh, in my notes. That's pretty cool, huh? Right, I'm going to take a look down here. All right, I'm gonna guess that that is the Kentucky River, but we'll get there in a second. All right, just look at these grand buildings and these churches. Uh, and there's one here across the street. First Baptist Church. Kinda got the uh, sun in the wrong place. Let me get across the street, see it better. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. Let's see what the uh, marker says. First Baptist Church, second church in the city. Organized February 1816. Wow, 13 members. Wow. Really big church. Let's see what this says here. 1837, the Catholic community was formally called St. Patrick Mission. Ten years later, influx of German, Irish. Huh, 1848. Uh, church dedicated 1850. Well, yeah, beautiful. All right, I'm out here on this bridge. Uh, there was a placard that says this is called the Singing Bridge, and there you go. There is the uh, Kentucky River. Nice hills rising on the other side. Yeah. Got a little dock there with some boats. I wasn't sure of what to expect. Uh, Frankfurt, I don't know if I expected this. It's it's beautiful. Wow. Been in Kentucky four or five days now and I've yet to see any place in the state. Honestly. Uh, it, that is not beautiful. I just walked off this uh, Singer Bridge as they call it. Yeah, I'll give you a little view here. I saw this artwork. I wanted to take a look. And then I saw this little spot where it looks like you can go down and see the river. There's a doorway there. And there's the river. A little bit messy though, isn't it? Huh. Well, you know when a car's coming across that bridge. <laughs> Now they've got a really cool sign here and it uh, doesn't point you in the direction of cities, it points you in the direction of distilleries. Oh yeah, I like that. 
All right, I'm on the, the street they have developed as a, looks like an entertainment district. Got a theater right here. That's really nice. Um, as I walk down it, I'll tell you a little bit about the city. Uh, 28,600 people here as of the last census. Um, of course, the city is situated along the Kentucky River, as I just showed you. Uh, the median household incomes, 50,200, as opposed to 67,500 for the rest of the country. That seems a little low, because from what I've seen of the town, uh, it is definitely not poor. Uh, per capita income, 29,300 versus 3,300 or 33,700 for the nation. Uh, crime is low, it's about a third lower than the national average. Uh, it says poverty is 16.3%, which is definitely higher than the nation's average of 11.4. Hmm. Average home here is $239,000. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that cost of living is pretty low here. And there is a university here, uh, Kentucky State University, if I remember correctly and uh, again it may be skewing the numbers because college kids don't usually have much of uh, anything in the way of incomes but anyway yeah it's a real nice little area here lots of tables spread out so people can hang out uh, here on Lodge Number 4F and AM. Past members include Richard Johnson, U.S. Vice President, uh, U.S. Kendall, U.S. Postmaster General, Colonel John Allen, killed the War of 1812, George Bibb. Anyway, uh, I'm showing you that because the building which is behind me is kind of beautiful, or actually a lot beautiful. I like that. Just wanted to show you this quaint old Kentucky town. Saw this one. The Taylor Compton House, built 1832. Uh, let's step back because it's a beauty. Yeah. How about that? Another one next door. I think someone lives in this one. Yeah, they do. Got all that, uh, I guess it's a rock brick. That is a sturdy home, I would think. And another one over here. Oh, that just kind of looks like concrete. Captain uh, Sanford Goyne, 1872. Appears to be apartments now. Yeah, that is old. I think one of the things I really like about this town is all the hills that surround it. It's really nice. Well, I'm standing outside this beautiful old church yeah the city is uh, filled with them but here's the story of it uh, the AME church was established in Frankfurt 1839 by Negroes before days of emancipation first structure built on Lewis Street building ground given by mrs. triplet a white lady to her servants Benjamin Dunmore and Benjamin Hunley in 1881 Reverend Bentley gave the name St. John to the AME Church, present church built in 1893. Yeah, this church here. How about that? Hmm. You can tell it's old. 
Now I'll give you a look-see of where I'm at. Kind of wandered off here. They've got a wall here where I guess it's been set aside uh, to ride on and it's chalk. So there's all kinds of stuff here. Huh. I wonder who it is that writes on this. Maybe someone can fill in in the comments. Yeah, it's a lot here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, I am uh, next to this old rail bridge that goes over the river. It's really cool looking. Now this road's blocked off. I'm probably not even supposed to be here. I jumped the fence. <laughs> Get a quick look. Uh, but I had to see this. This is cool looking. Yeah, you can see the street is not in operation. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it goes over the Kentucky here. It's really nice, isn't it? Really nice. Well. Let's see if we can see over here a little bit. Pretty awesome. Yeah, you can see the town is right here in the distance. Cool. Well, I'm up here in the hills a little, and uh, it's a nice view from up here. I, I hadn't planned on shooting a drone of the city, but I brought my drone just in case. I changed my mind, and uh, I have. So here's a drone shot of the city. Uh, it looks really nice from the air, so check it out. Okay, I'm here at the Frankfurt Cemetery. Daniel Boone, pioneer, born Pennsylvania, 1734, died Missouri, 1820. 
married Rebecca Boone, 1756. First trip to Kentucky, 1767. Set up Fort Boonesboro, surveyed Wilderness Trail, surveyor, colonist, legislator, sheriff, captured by British, uh, emigrated to Missouri, 1799. See what it says on the other side. In the cemetery stands a monument to Daniel and Rebecca Boone, erected by the Commonwealth in 1860 as a tribute to the family. Their remains were brought back to Kentucky from Missouri and uh, reinterred here in 1845. Monument was built by John Haley. Scenes of the Boone's lives were added to the monument in 1862. That's still a long time ago. So, the question is, where is it? They've got that placard there and uh, I don't think it's in here. Yeah, that's the office, information center. Here's a map. So I'll get this map and see if I can find Daniel Boone's gravesite, because that would be cool. I would like to see that. I would like to show you guys that. So I'm going to do that right now. So I am I'm near Daniel Boone's grave and his wife. Had to show you the view from up here. There's the Capitol building. Wife and I will be going there shortly. Uh, then you can see downtown, the main street of downtown that I was just at, directly ahead. That's Daniel Boone's marker right there. But, uh, Let's look at this view first. Wow. That is something, isn't it? Yeah, there's downtown right there. Where I was earlier. It is really, really an amazing view. You can see the Kentucky River there on the left. Capitol building. There's some scaffolding around it. Looks like they are... Uh, refurbishing it Wow I hope the camera catches this the awesomeness of it anyway yeah here's Daniel Boone's gravesite I was a big fan of him as a kid uh, explorer adventurer amongst other things very crucial uh, person in the uh, development of Kentucky. That's why he's born or uh, buried here. I read the book Adventures of Daniel Boone was a, when I was a kid, you know, 11, 12 years old. When the book was printed, I'm trying to remember when. Uh, I got my notes here, but I want to say late 1700s. Uh, yeah, 1784. Uh, his book, The Adventures of Daniel Boone, was published and it made him a worldwide famous uh, celebrity, if you will. And uh, I always enjoyed reading about his exploits. So, how cool that I'm at his grave. I'm excited. Anyway, now I'm going to go get the wife and we are going to go to the Capitol. That's coming up next. We already know that we can't get in this way. There's a sign saying the visitor's entrance is off to the side, but gotta look up here first. Right, at least get a look. Yeah, something to see. It's nice. Yeah, look back at the city in that direction. Cool. Well, I guess we'll go back down because uh, we have to go in a side entrance. <laughs> this is not one of those cool capitals where they let you go in the front door. Well, so, uh, yeah, we got to go in over here. So uh, we're going to head that way. Okay, so capital visitor entrance, this away. So uh, let's uh, head this way. Oh, this way. Mm -hmm. All right, we are taking the pathway they said for us to take. 
and interestingly we're right back to where we were we didn't have to walk all that way I guess I don't know that just seems really odd to me <laughs> it just took us right back here to the front hmm well it looks like we are going in the front door after all we're about to see anyway Okay, you ready? Yep. Oh, there we go. Will there be security? Yep, there's security. All right, we are through security, and uh, she's going to get her passport book stamped. Right here. All right, we are heading into the uh, main area. We should be able to see the rotunda here shortly. And there it is. Always exciting to see the rotunda, isn't it? It's nice. Now they have some no noted native-born Kentuckians here. Abraham Lincoln, born here in Kentucky. Uh, Jefferson Davis, the president of the Confederacy. He's here somewhere. Uh, he was born in Kentucky. And uh, they also have a statue of Harlan Sanders here. <laughs> Founder of KFC. His statue is here too, somewhere. I haven't found it yet. But anyway, you got, uh, got Lincoln right there, right in the middle. I don't know the number of states is yet, but it became a state way back in 1792. Oh, I don't know how much state it was. Does it? All right, here's Henry Clay. Noted Kentuckian. And yeah, this is a working capital, and uh, we always like to go to the governor's office. Here it is. Yeah, office of the governor. And, uh, by appoint appointment only, it says, so I guess we can't go talk to him. Yep, the wife disappeared. Oh, there she is. Chair of honor for uh, prisoners of war. Miss it in action. You are not forgotten. Well, I like that. I don't know. I think they're not in there. Because all the other statues are in there. There was Abraham I know, I Lincoln. think they've moved them. They've got a governor's wives doll case. We saw that in another yeah. uh, Capitol building. I can't remember which Capitol it was. So these, yeah, these are all the wives of governors over the years. And if you remember in that case, the current uh, governor was a woman. So they had exactly. one male. Yes. Where was that? I can't remember. Yeah, here's, so here's uh, as soon as my camera focuses. There it goes. Yeah, these are all dolls of the uh, governors. Wait a minute, what's this say? Oh, Martha Collins, 1936, Kentucky's first woman governor. There you go. Yeah, it has a dog too. So she is the Current governor's wife, Brittany Bashir, born 1979. Hmm. So these are mid 1800s. The uh, dresses really reflect the style of the time, doesn't it? How do they sit down in that? I don't know. <laughs> they don't worry about sitting down, but I guess they don't. They don't sit down and eat during this ball. I guess, but see, this is what, what dresses looked like back then. How cool! I know, but just think about it. If you sat down, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it the big circle like pop up? I don't know, but I don't know. You have to uh, wear one and see uh, see what it's about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do it. Now in this hallway, they have uh, paintings by I'm going to guess local artists, or at least Kentucky artists. Yeah, that one's from Louisville. Uh, this is called Cool Breeze Running. Makes sense for Kentucky, doesn't it? And another horse. A wild one. And another horse. It's racing. And we got one over here. Uh, my friend Benny. My friend Benny, that's the name of that. Pretty cool, huh? 
I like what they've done here. So you, uh, you just got a... I just got a text from my daughter. Just read the last text. Don't read my... Don't get all nosy. I don't know if I can read it or not, but it says... Uh, I'm, I'm having, having a... another girl. <laughs> so you're going to be a grandma to a, uh, a second granddaughter. Another granddaughter. How about that? <laughs> We're on the second floor now. It's pretty grand looking, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. It's pretty impressive to see. Give me yours up. Yours in the nets. Oh, okay. Yeah. The one on the East Wing is a representation of Daniel Boone's first view of the Bluegrass. So this is Daniel Boone in uh, 1776. 1775. Purchasing much of the land that is, that is, in, that is Kentucky from the Cherokee Indians. Purchasing land from Cherokee Indians, okay. Yes. That becomes Kentucky. Yes. And this is the Senate chamber of Kentucky. Uh, behind us, it is uh, spectacular. Look at that. that I don't know if the camera's capturing that or not. Hmm. That is, wow. It has lots, shows That's lots the of inside of the Capitol building in Kentucky, of Kentucky. Shows lots of marble, as, as she said in uh, Rhode Island. As yeah. the lady in Rhode Island said, lots of marble. You just can't get over her uh, saying that, can you? Lots and lots of marble. <laughs> <laughs> That's really beautiful. I'm just gonna sit here and look at it. Like I said, I don't know if the camera's gonna justify the grandeur of it, hopefully. So this bust is of uh, Happy Chandler. And he said he was the governor, he was the governor of Kentucky, vice president of the United States, and the commissioner of baseball. That's some pretty cool credentials. <laughs> huh? He was kind of, like I said, he was controversial for the fact that he let Brooks Robinson into the major leagues as first Oh, really? He, he let the first black player in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's uh, got his place in history then, for sure. Mm -hmm. Office of the First Lady, Brittany Bashir. Yeah, so we just saw her doll a minute ago, right? We saw her dog's doll. Yeah, we saw her and the dog. Those dolls. <laughs> All right, we are at the other wing. Yep, there he is, Harlan Colonel Sanders. Well, he always wore that white suit. Yeah, he, uh, he is an important person for Kentucky. <laughs> I've been to his grave, and now I've seen his bust in the Capitol building. He was never in the armed forces, though. He was never in the armed forces. But boy, you know how to make some good chicken. All right, we are uh, outside the building. We learned a few things. Became a state in 1792? Yep. 1792 when Kentucky became a state. And this building was built when? Uh, it was finished, I believe, in 1910. So this building was finished in 1910. And uh, there's some scaffolding up there. They're working on it now. That's really cool. And it, this was the, uh, this was the last, um, I mean, this is the, the fourth building. That, the fourth this is the fourth building. Capitol building? You know, I've always wondered why certain government building is using V instead of a U in certain places. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because it's me. Latin, isn't it? Well, the rest of it is not Latin. Well, I don't know. Okay, so uh, we're going to end the video here. Uh, we are heading into West Virginia next. So be looking for that.